All right, so we've got some audio back here. We've fixed our microphone back at the, uh, the folks there in the studio. Yes, we can hear you. Sorry about that. We've obviously had a lot of wind and water damage to most of our equipment. You've, you've been uh, narrating this live coverage as you're seeing in front of us. The sheriff here going inside. Uh, this young lady, uh, the granddaughter of this woman, ran over and said that she needed help. Uh, Ma'am, are you going to talk to us? Everyone's watching on Channel 2. Your grandma needs help, right? Yes. And how, how did you find out that she needed some help in here? Well, we, we knew that the, it, the neighborhood had been flooded. She didn't want to leave the house at first, but she did lose power yesterday, and she wasn't going to be able to charge her phone or anything. So we, I told her we were coming to get her no matter what she said. So Was, was this kind of a, a, a fight between the two of you saying, Grandma, you need to get out of there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. So we, we didn't give her an option today. We said, we're coming to get you, and that's, that's what's happening. So. so how thankful are you that the sheriff's department, these volunteers with these giant boats, are willing to help save your grandmother? I cannot even put into words how thankful and grateful that we are. Thank you all so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, we're just glad that she's going to be safe and that we can take her home. How old is your grandmother? About 73. Okay, so, and she's still pretty mobile, you said? Yes. So she's just mobile but stubborn. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but the last time you talked to her was just a few minutes ago, right? Yes, we've been in contact throughout the day this morning. She still didn't want to go, and we were like, you know what? We don't care anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, and understandably, too. I mean, you look, you look around here. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, based on the water levels, your grandmother had to be uh, on the second floor, right? Yes. Yeah, she's been on this, the, the second floor for a couple days now. So we just wanted to get her out safe. And there she is. She is out safe. Hi. You may want to sit down on your, okay. Well, all right, I'm going to help you, okay? Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, it's okay. Yeah. Take a hat. Thank you. Come on, sit down right here, okay? Okay. I got you. Take a big step down. There you go. Okay, right there. Okay. Ma'am, do you want to lock your door or anything? I'm just going to close oh. it. Yeah, just close it. Do you want me to lock it if you have your keys? Yeah, in my purse. The second one is 3722. We're just uh, grabbing the keys to lock the door here at uh, at her home because, uh, as the sheriff has been saying, there's a uh, very good potential for a lot of looters. We want to make sure that we try to keep people out of these houses as best we can. So I, we're we're obviously we're live on channel two. Your grandmother or your granddaughter has been uh, in contact with you. How how are you? Or is everything okay? I'm I'm fine. Um, the house is not well. The first floor is not, but but I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, so were you just you didn't want to leave, right? You thought things weren't going to be this bad? Yeah. I'm from New Orleans and I've lived all my life, you know, with hurricanes and whatever and never anything like this. Did you go through Katrina yourself? Yeah. And you, were you, did you move here voluntarily or were you evacuated to Houston? No. Uh, we moved here when my husband and I both retired okay. because my daughter lived here and okay. her family. So. How are you feeling right now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy that you're safe and out of the well, house, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This has got to yeah. be overwhelming to look around and see that your neighborhood is under five feet of water. I know. I know. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. And your name again? Virginia. What's your Webb. last name, Virginia? Webb. Okay. Webb. Well, well, thank you. Thankful you're okay. Uh, Sheriff, this has been... Uh, you guys, don't, don't let us stop you. Please continue working and, and rescuing people out of here. 